If y'all want to see how to make this delicious chicken noodle soup, please keep watching. It's so yummy. Welcome back to our channel. Today yes. I am going to make <coughs> my homemade chicken noodle soup. I got a Costco I chicken. Oh my gosh. I got a Costco rotisserie chicken this morning. I have the bones in here with some celery, some onion, peppercorn, um, and I also put some thyme, garlic, powder, parsley, crushed rosemary, and a, like a splash, a splash, a little shake of dill. And I've also cut up, well, I'm going to cut up some celery, a little tiny bit of onion. I'm not big on onion in this, unless it's like super fine. And the reason for that is when I was pregnant with that one, with Sadie, um, the first night that I had, that I like felt nauseous with morning sickness, I had eaten chicken noodle soup with a lot of onions and I could taste like the milkiness of the onions. And I also have about six peeled carrots here. And then I'll use some of this chicken. This is just the chicken I pulled off the rotisserie. Um, once this is done, I will strain it. <laughs> I will strain it to get the bones and all the stuff out and save the liquid. And then I will show y'all what I do next. Okay, so here is what is left over. These are onion peels, if y'all are wondering. Um, and then the broth is down here. I didn't make a whole, whole lot. Um, so it's kind of concentrated, which is fine. Because I do add water and bouillon to make it how much I want. Probably will add a little bit more butter in here. So keep that in mind. Alright, it looks so rough. I wasn't planning on filming myself. Um, but I will warn you, nothing in this recipe is measured. Um, I usually do use about a pound of carrots and like half of an onion and but I eyeball everything else. I usually do more peas than this but I did not have any frozen peas so I picked all the peas that I could find out of a bag of mixed vegetables because we really really like peas in our chicken noodle soup. That may be weird but and none of this, this is more like my method to chicken noodle soup. It's never the same. I mean, it's the same flavors because I know what seasonings I add. I usually add a whole lot of um, poultry seasoning, which I am low on. So that's why I'm adding everything like uh, in their individual containers, the same things that are kind of in poultry seasoning. Um, I usually let the bones cook a little bit longer, but Sometimes I add like a can of cream and chicken soup if I feel like it needs to be a little bit thicker. I don't have any, so sometimes I make a roux with it, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I put biscuits in it for dumplings and I just turn this into chicken and dumplings. This is super versatile. This is just like the base recipe and it is the method to chicken noodle soup. So. Because, like I said, nothing is measured. 
This is just what I've come with up with from reading many recipes. And this is kind of how I cook unless I'm following a recipe. I just add a little of this, a little of that. And if it's something I make enough, I just know, you know, I just eyeball it. So, but you know, if it tastes like it needs more salt, add more salt. Don't add too much. You can take it or you can add it, but you can never take it away. That's what my granddad always told me. Um, but I am letting you know what seasonings I do use. So, a, another tablespoon of butter. And then I added two tablespoons of flour to just make a roux. I did just turn it down to low. This thing is nasty. My husband made bacon this morning and everything sticks to bacon grease. Low. So now it's going to get all gross looking. But you do want to cook the raw flour taste out to make it nice and yummy. Um, I probably let the vegetables cook for about five or ten minutes just to kind of get them a head start. And it's already seven o'clock. Jackson's already in bed, and Sadie usually goes to bed around eight. I might let her stay up a little bit. She used to have gymnastics really early, but they moved her to an 11.30 class. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and add the peas. I would normally have way more peas than this. Climbs this window. There you go. Hey, Peanut. Come here. Say hi, Peanutina. Hi, Peanut. Don't let him fool you. He's really mean. Aren't you? You're not actually this nice. <laughs> this has been going for a while. I'm going to add the homemade chicken broth. All the yummy seasonings and stuff in it. Y'all, I need to count, clean this stove top so bad. Okay, and clearly that is not enough liquid. Because I'm still going to have to add chicken and noodles. So I'm going to turn this up pretty, right above medium. You can turn it up to high. Just this burner gets huge. I don't know what kind of pot fits on this burner to where the flames don't go around it. And I would be using my tripod and my nicer camera, but say you used up all of the memory space or the memory card space and I have not taken it off. So I'm filming this with my phone because I did not want to have to do all that. Okay, like I said, this is not nearly enough liquid, so I'm probably going to add four to eight cups of chicken broth. Um, if you like it super thick, then add less. We like ours pretty brothy. Plus the noodles soak up a lot, so add more than you think you need. So I will come back. Added four cups of water and four teaspoons of chicken broth, or chicken bouillon, sorry. This is the one that I use. It's my favorite. I like that it's powder. The cubes are good, but you don't always want a whole cube. So this is good for, I don't know, it's just awesome, but it's powder. I get that and I get to use the beef one and I use the tomato chicken one for like Spanish rice. So there's that. I'm going to add, I believe that this is kind of like a Southern thing. I think you can buy it everywhere, but I think it's like a joke that Southerners put Lowry season salt on everything, but I'm just gonna do that. I add that. That is my secret ingredient to my ramen noodle. Every time I make chicken ramen for anyone, I add that to it, and they're like, "Why is it so good?" And I just add a little bit. Like, I'm not trying to kill you with salt or anything, but it's so good. I'm gonna stir that in. Um, I'm going to. 
add the chicken. I'll probably add about half of this. I'm gonna cut it into, I do like it in strips, but I'm gonna cut them into like shorter strips so they're not everywhere. I don't like a whole lot. My husband would have this loaded down with chicken if he could. But I like a little bit. Well, not a little bit, but like, you know, I just like a little bit of chicken in every bite. I don't want it to be like, holy chicken. Let me know, do y'all want like the shorter recipe videos? The shorter ones where I just show you what to do or do you like the more vloggy ones where i talk to you about all of my random stuff because it doesn't matter what i'm doing if the camera is on i just start talking so i guess i'm doing the right hobby but i do i just start talking about our day about what we're doing i just can't help it even when i'm like recording snapchats and insta stories and stuff i just start talking and i cannot stop and it's not about anything important. <laughs> Sometimes it is. Sometimes I like to offer, you know, words of wisdom or whatever. But a lot of times it's just me rambling about my day. So just let me know which I'll prefer. Chatty or straight to the point. Okay, that is the amount of chicken that I'm okay with and will make my husband happy. And I'm just going to let this cook until the veggies are soft like definitely fork tender i've had some chicken noodle soups where like everything's still crunchy or i see people say oh just boil it for 15 30 minutes i live in the south we like our vegetables mushy i'm just gonna let that cook and then whenever it's to where i like it i'm gonna add the noodles i always taste the soup before i add the noodles just to make sure it doesn't need any salt because the pasta takes away a lot of the salt. And this time I am using these noodles from Aldi. They only have these seasonally, but I know you can find these at other places. Um, I've crushed them up pretty well because they're they get huge. Have to boil for 12 to 14 minutes. So I also added another four cups of chicken broth because it did cook down a lot. And then you know however many noodles you like. I'm probably doing about. A cup or two and once this comes up to a boil I'll add those and let them boil for 12 to 14 minutes and then I usually like to turn the heat off and leave the lid on to kind of let them all like soak together okay so she's already had her dinner but I just gave her a bite of the chicken noodle soup what do you think yeah who makes the best chicken noodle soup you me what's your favorite part the carrot yeah. and the noodles every and you really like the broth too, huh? Yeah, because so, that helps you get better. Yeah. I have asthma. You have asthma, yeah. So I make a lot of chicken noodle soup for you, huh? Yes. Yeah. I'll add some more of my berry on another dinner. No, you don't get another dinner, but I will give you another bite. Okay. I am making up to boil, so now I am going to add all of the noodles. We just made cookies. We can all watch our vlog from this day. Why did it have Christmas on the red day? Um, I think it was a seasonal Christmas thing last year. So I put all the noodles in, I'm going to stir it in, and then I'm going to set the timer for probably the full 14 minutes. Okay, so here is the final product. I have not made a bowl yet because my husband is not home, but oh, he just pulled up. <laughs> but this is, you know, what it looks like. Thank you so much for watching, and let me know if y'all try this recipe. I love it. I love it, I love it. Like I said, this is more of a method. We like a lot of carrots, and we like a lot of broth. So, thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video, comment, and we'll see y'all next time. Bye!